Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Claudia M. Watts, the managing editor of The Bridge. And so I'm really excited to be with you all today. Um, I'm gonna be joined by Dominic Adams, and he is the co-owner and founder of Somewhere Boutique, which is located in the Southeast Waterfront neighborhood. It's right by Nat Stadium. Uh, so bring him in. You're muted. Awesome. Dominic, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm great. great. Yes, yeah, so I'm so excited to have you here today because you know that we are big fans of Somewhere at the Bridge. And you all know I always have to do a shameless plug. We've got some collabs coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of exciting things on the horizon. Awesome, awesome. So I guess tell me a little bit about Somewhere, right? You know, what is this kind of third space concept that you all have where it's not just a boutique? Yeah, so the idea with Somewhere was always... Um, my partners and I, we've been really blessed and fortunate uh, to travel. And so uh, it's really bringing that international men's um, street fashion conversation uh, to Washington, D.C. Um, in an environment that um, sort of fosters it. So we do have a uh, cafe here uh, that we work with a local, um, actually black owned bakery, uh, which is uh, Souk by the Sweet Lobby. Um, who bakes our uh, pastries fresh every day. And then we also work with a local roastery, uh, Vigilante Coffee, which is out in Hydesville, Maryland. Um, and we primarily use um, uh, Ethiopian uh, sourced and Brazilian sourced uh, beans uh, through fair trade op operations uh, to, to sort of bring up that program. And then all of the fashion here is a mix of domestic and international brands. And uh, we put them in more or less a, a white room and <laughs> uh, not a lot of, uh, <laughs> it's not a lot of, um, decoration here. It's very stark. Mm -hmm. Uh, the lighting is very harsh, but it, it more or less makes you interact and have conversations. So it's kind of like a, like a, like a gallery vibe for the clothes. Very yeah. much so. So how do you, how do you determine like what's hot? Like what to stock, you know, what designers, what is, what is that process? Uh, so for us, uh, again, it's, it's very much, um, related to travel. Um, mm -hmm and interacting uh, with our peers that are located globally. And so we're always keeping an eye on Instagram. Uh, when we fly to a market, we try to stay, uh, like we try to fly in like two days beforehand just to really get what the local vibe is and understand um, kind of what, what things really are um, when we travel. So, all right, so then what was your last shopping trip? Like, where, where'd you go last? What'd you get? What are some, what are some oh. brands we're gonna see in <laughs> somewhere, Dom? Yeah, so this, this is gonna sound so uh, shake, shake, foo, foo. Uh, let's see. Um, so we went, uh, we were in New York and then we landed in Paris uh, for about a week and a half. Uh -huh. um, and so we were in Paris and then we went back to New York. So we have um, a few really exciting brands um, coming up uh, this season and uh, for the spring. Uh, one of the brands that we're super excited about, uh, we were the first shop um, in DC in a long time to bring in anything from uh, Owens Corp, uh, which is Rick Owens' uh, empire. Um, and then we're also bringing Un Plus uh, from Comme des Garçons. Um, we're gonna be the first shop uh, in DC to sort of premiere that brand uh, mm -hmm. here uh, on the men's side. So we're mm -hmm. super excited to, to sort of facilitate that, uh, that viewing for our um our public here and so this little i see in your background looks like you have like a little mood board is that what that is <laughs> yeah it's uh <laughs> anyone's been to somewhere someone's always loud so the only place i could find um <laughs> some quiet place right now is in the studio okay uh, so yeah so you might see some secrets up there hopefully it's not too close uh but yeah it, it's kind of uh more or less the war board for what's mm -hmm. coming up uh mm -hmm. in the next couple of weeks and so we're just like strategizing and then because of covid uh figuring out where things are um in the import system and in the uh, shipping system um just trying to locate where everything is and so we can get our shooting schedule uh correct and down pat yeah definitely i mean how has that impacted you in terms of what you've been able to provide like selection wise to your clientele because i know that like some places haven't been keeping their stocks as heavy or you know yeah. It's been um it's been really challenging. Um we I mean first I like just to say I mean we're so blessed to still be able to be open and operational because so many shops uh, are not and um unfortunately a lot of them aren't coming back. Yeah. Um and so you know we've just been very very lucky by you know some quick thinking and and some pivots uh, and some activations we've done. Uh but right now getting things on shore is very challenging. Um 
and also things that are produced domestically are a little challenging uh, because uh, productions was shut down for certain brands. Uh, some productions have been delayed. Some productions have been canceled. Uh, some things have been stuck in customs for a lot longer than what they typically would be. <laughs> um, so, yeah, stuff is, stuff is really upside down. And then also, because of the delays, um, figuring out what should land and what time has just passed, you know? And so mm -hmm. sometimes in some of these more interesting things, uh, when the hype is, like, down a bit, it's just not smart from a business perspective to bring them in mm -hmm. when, you know, sort of the attention span has already sort of... Um, yeah, uh, gone there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, do you all have a private, like, somewhere brand that is like yours that you're stocking or that you're designing? Yeah. So we've been um, we've been doing some uh, some things in house, and so I'm mm -hmm. I'm really fortunate. Uh, one of my partners uh, is Will Shop, and so he has a design background. He used to right. uh, actually still has a brand called Durkle. Um, yeah, okay, I'm familiar so, with that. Yeah. So he's yeah. able to dust uh, dust off some of his design chops with that. And then I'm able to sprinkle a little bit of my magic in there. And, you know, we, we, uh, we've been coming up with some private label things, um, mm -hmm. primarily through a lot of collaborations. Um, but we, we might be growing the in-house brand a little faster than what we initially anticipated. Yeah. I mean, that's what I, I was thinking about, like different um, boutiques and things like that. I know that there was a period in time where there were, I felt like there were so many cute ones. Like there was um, like a Commonwealth and like Stussy and things like that. Um, and I was always curious in terms of business if it was smarter to have a private label or to simply just stock, you know, yeah. other, other brands. And then especially going forward with the shift now that COVID has has created, do you think that that might be a more advantageous lane, especially yeah. also to add the the strong sense of like D.C. homegrown identity? Right. Yeah, I think I think uh, there's definitely a path forward there. Um, I know. Um, our initial intention was always uh, to be a multi uh, multi brand door and to grow, grow that business slowly. But since we're sort of pivoting a little bit more into that, um, it's just based on just sheer demand. Mm -hmm. uh, but we always want to show, um, like I said, a lot of these brands that um, don't get a lot of um, I don't want to say get a lot of love. Don't uh, aren't carried so much in D.C. And so, for example, we carry uh, Awake, uh, yeah. New York. And so there's only a few stores in the world that carry that brand. I think like Dove Street Market and like Supreme and Union and a couple uh, doors like that. Um, and so we always want to have that element uh, for the kids like us, you know, that, that are, exactly. you know, especially during COVID. I mean, you know, no one's really traveling to L.A. right now. No one's really <laughs> traveling to New York. Um, so, you know, we, we still have to give them the ability to touch and feel a few things uh, that they're genuinely interested in. Mm -hmm. And so as a black business owner here in D.C., you're you're running a boutique, you know, we didn't even really touch on the fact that you don't even need as many clothes when you're stuck in the house. Um, <laughs> That's still debatable. <laughs> debatable. <laughs> you know, so it's like where I guess where do you see the market and like what kind of advice would you give to someone else that wanted to enter, you know, D.C.'s kind of boutique fashion scene? Um, I think uh, genuinely care about what that scene is. Um one of the biggest reasons why we we really elected to do this project and why it's located where it is uh, was that we really needed, I mean, you know, sort of take the FUBU acronym for a second, you know, we needed a for us, by us yeah. uh, kind of model. Um, and so right now, I think that it's all about being exciting um, and being creative and really like earning, um, earning that, that attention uh, is important. Um, and so I think long gone, well, I'll say long gone, but I think the days of relying just simply on a little bit of hype from three years ago or six months ago, that's not, that's not an option. So you have right. to create that energy uh, every single second you can and do it in such a genuine, uh, pure way, um, you know, just to, to keep, keep it going. Um, you know, we, we've, fortunately, we've been seeing some really inspiring creativity come from all over the map in places that we typically wouldn't look for brands uh we've been noticing some really incredible young designers that are just emerging from all over the place um mm -hmm. and we're paying attention oh i love it i love it um so well, thank you so much for joining me today you know thank follow you. somewhere official on instagram yeah yes. thank you and yeah all right so thank you and i just have one little announcement to make to you guys uh before we wrap it up for the day 
Um, and that is tomorrow, there's going to be an outdoor installation opening at Union Market. And it is actually presented by a DC bred photographer named Brian Summers. And it will feature work from five other DC photographers. And so next Thursday on the 20th, I'll be moderating the discussion between Brian and some of the other photographers. It's called We Present What We Represent. So hopefully you guys can join us. Thank <music> you.